Oh, that was a perfect flank. Ah! What's up, guys? It is I, RGT85, and today we're taking a look at Apex Legends on the Nintendo Switch, one of the more anticipated games for the month of March for the Switch. This is a free-to-play, first-person, battle royale shooter, something that is pretty common on other platforms. I actually played this game originally on the Xbox One when it first came out, but I was kind of... I don't know, just burned out on the Battle Royale genre. But now that it's come out to the Nintendo Switch, I did want to check it out. Maybe not so much to see the quality of the game itself. I feel like everyone pretty much understands what Apex Legends is. If for some reason you don't, we'll briefly go over it. But I was interested to see how the Nintendo Switch version of the game plays, the graphics, the performance, and the frame rate. So this is your main screen here. As you can see, kind of a bit overwhelming, but at the end of the day, just realize they just want your money. So, you know, there's a store and stuff. Hey, buy all this cool timed loot here, you know, skins and stuff like that. I don't care about stuff like this. I think it's ridiculous that people spend so much money on it. It's just, you know, it does absolutely nothing for me. It doesn't impact your actual character. It doesn't impact your actual guns. So there's really no point of it to me. But I do know that people get very excited for this. Here you can adjust your skins and whatnot, like... I don't know. This is a skin for one of my guns. You can put charms on it, too, that you unlock. Oh, I got a candy bomb. That's cool. Like, I, I just, you know, it does absolutely nothing for me. Now, the Legends part is a little bit more interesting because, as you can see here, there are some characters that are grayed out. And you basically get those characters by either using in-game currency or by using real-world currency. Now, the in-game currency you get by leveling up your character. You can unlock most of these characters just by simply playing the game. It does, you know, get a little bit harder as time goes on. But the main thing you have to realize with these characters is there's different classes, and at the end of the day that's really all that it impacts which we'll talk about in a little bit but yeah we're just gonna dive into a game here um and check out you know the performance of this game it's basically you get into a squad of either two or three people i'm choosing three people and you try to take out the other team you jump into the map you get your guns and then you kill other people in the game pretty standard affair but like i said i'm more interested in the nintendo switch version of the game as far as graphics and things of that nature are concerned because i think that's what a lot of people are looking at with this version of the game to see if it's worth it so here is the point where you choose your character you can see that each character has a little icon next to their name and that's basically what they're good at so bloodhound can do a sonar gibraltar can do uh, extended defense lifeline is of course health and then you see that there's two characters with ammunition by their name basically what that does is it impacts your special ability in the game so bloodhound special ability is that he could throw out a sonar and see where other enemies are within a, a range of the map for my character that i chose it's basically a big grenade attack that happens in an area around you to take out enemies so you basically earn that by just um, playing the game and surviving long enough and then your meter builds up and you can do that thing so right now I am the jump master meaning that I will choose where we jump we are going to jump around here and we're gonna go ahead and launch and get into the game itself now yes if you're looking at this thing, things look pretty blurry from up top. I mean, there's no, there's no sort of denying it, but once you get on the ground level, it does get a bit better because like I said, this was pretty much the, the part that I was interested in with this game was the performance of the game. I could play this game on my PlayStation four, my Xbox one. I can play it, you know, on whatever I want. It's just, I wanted to see for Nintendo switch owners, how this would be. So right now we are in the process of picking up stuff. We want to pick up guns, we want to pick up ammunition, we want to pick up, of course, shielding, and we have someone in here. Woo-wee! Tyson! Mike Tyson! That is what I'm talking about, folks. That, that is what I am talking about. And now we can access their items. Of course, they just spawn, so they don't really have anything super fun. We got a target here. Woo-wee! I'm doing good this game. All right, so we're looking at their stuff here. I'm going to take that. I'm going to take their backpack, uh, a heat shield as well. I don't really need it. I already have one. But we did good there. So this is Apex Legends. You know, looking at the game, you can see it, it does look nice at times. There's... um. A lot of features in the game as well that are specific to the Nintendo Switch, but it definitely does look blurry. And, you know, during that gunplay there, you could see there was some slowdown at times. You know, the frame rate targets 30 frames per second, but it definitely drops at times. And I, that, that kind of disappoints me a bit, you know, because you're already going from 60 frames per second 
to 30 frames per second with the Nintendo Switch version of the game. And, you know, if you're only a Nintendo Switch owner, I feel like you could sort of adjust to that a lot easier. But if you play first-person shooters on other platforms, it's definitely jarring because I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty on the Xbox uh, Series X. So I'm used to, you know, a little bit more proficiency with my frame rates and things like that. And since it is a precision first-person shooter, you know, it, it can kind of get a little annoying. Of course, as with all games in this genre, there is a looming, you know, closing of the area to bring everyone together. So right now we are just basically gathering resources and things of that nature, and we are going to move out and go into our area here. You are also picking up things like different... Um, attachments for your guns as well if you played something like warzone before you pretty much know what to expect with this game you can see that there's zip lines now these zip lines actually allow you to go from one area to another in a quick manner so that's pretty cool come here you run you slide you hit the bump and take a dive crocodile mile now, there are specific Nintendo Switch features that are in this game, such as gyroscope control, if you're using a Pro Controller or the Joy-Cons, which is kind of cool. For a first-person shooter, I prefer to use the analog sticks, but the option is there, so that's that's nice, you know. I wouldn't say it's necessarily a half-assed version of the game because there's things like native voice chat as well. If you plug in a headset, you, you've got voice chat and you can communicate with your teammates. And, you know, think little things like that do go to show that Panic Button, who designed this version for the Nintendo Switch, did do what they could. I just feel like maybe this game was a little bit too ambitious for the switch like there are things like frame rate drops there are things like heavy pop-up you know low resolution textures i wouldn't say it's a bad game though because it's still fun and you have to remember i mean it's, it's free so can you really get too upset yes i think there are better versions of the game that you can play like by far there are better versions of the game that you can play but if you only own a nintendo switch and you like free to play first person shooter games i don't think it's it's that bad i do think that they can do things like additional patches and things because really the main problem i have is with the frame rate you know when it when it sort of bogs down a little bit that can be a bit concerning especially during gunfights because you need max maximum accuracy when you're doing something like that die 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 my darling don't utter a single word all right we downed one guy let's see if we can get the rest of these no no you are a bad woman you are a bad woman and then of course after the match you get your little after match summary how you did you know different things that you can accomplish in order to get these stars which will then level you up and level up your battle pass and all those sorts of fun things like that so let's see we have leveled up to level nine now so that's kind of cool but this is apex legends it's it's pretty much what you do you, you jump in you try to kill people and then you try to not get killed and the nintendo switch version of the game i won't say is a bad version of the game but it's definitely the worst version of the game especially when you compare it to things like the xbox one version or the playstation 4 version now is it still a game worth checking out i think if you only own a nintendo switch and you have plenty of room on your little memory card there because it does take up a lot of room yes you can have some fun with it you can easily link up with people to play the game it does use the nintendo switch's invite system as well so you could invite a friend into your game i think with friends it would be a lot of fun because of the fact that you can also play with native voice chat and whatnot even if you're just playing random you can have some good times you know the in-game communication seems to work well enough and if you have a headset like i said you could plug it in just don't expect something that's going to blow you away i don't think the quality of the game is as good as something like original doom on the nintendo switch but it's still a fun little game that you could put some time into and like i said just don't get into the whole micro transactions thing of it don't get into the whole i need to i need these bucks man i need these bucks so i can buy the bunny hopper and i think you'll be okay with this game so let me know in the comments section down below if you plan on checking out apex legends on the nintendo switch you're going to play it on another platform because well it just looks and runs better or if you don't care about battle royale games and you're never going to play this game and as always guys thank you for checking out this video if you are new to the channel make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications be sure to check out other videos on the channel as well and as always i'll catch you guys on the next one later Oh, horse manure!
Come on!